a gym can often be held legally liable for a patron's injuries. This might happen when someone is injured due to defective or broken equipment, location of equipment in an unsafe place, slip and fall accidents on wet or uneven floors, or fitness training by an unqualified employee. A gym might also be liable for intentional wrongful acts by other guests or employees, such as assault and battery, groping, theft, discrimination, or invasion of privacy. Gyms will sometimes claim that a patron is responsible for his or her own injuries. Gyms may also try to avoid liability by requiring guests to sign a written liability waiver or assumption of the risk agreement. These are legally enforceable contracts. However, a waiver of liability can only protect a gym against claims for ordinary negligence. If the fitness center is guilty of gross negligence, a patron can still recover damages. Gross negligence occurs when the gym or its employees fail to exercise even a slight degree of care. For instance, during the nightly equipment inspection, a gym employee fails to notice that the leg press machine is broken. That probably constitutes ordinary negligence. However, if the employee doesn't inspect the equipment at all, that might be gross negligence. And if the machine was defective, both the gym and the manufacturer can be held strictly liable for injuries, even if no one was negligent. If you were injured at a fitness center, call us and we'll talk about how to get you compensation for your medical bills, lost wages, and pain and suffering.